Uh, is that tea, coffee, what you, uh, chocolate it's milk? It's coffee, which I have to be careful of because coffee during an interview can make your mouth run a little faster than your brain. All right. right. Let me ask you a question. You mentioned something about, you said you were drinking yesterday before one of your lives. Yeah. Now I cut that out, but I do have a question for someone I used to drink with. Uh, how has this crisis changed how drinking feel? What's different about drinking now? What would I feel different if I were drinking during this? I, okay, so a couple things. I talked to a friend of mine yesterday and she said she's dealing with her kids at home. Mm -hmm. She's, you know, kids are home from school and she's like, in the middle of the day, I went out on the patio and I chugged a beer. She's like, I'm 42 years old. I have never chugged a beer in my life. She's like, I just had to chug a beer. So there's something about drinking where I feel like I'm doing something kind of bad because I'm drinking. Yeah, I think I, exactly what I just pulled out of what you said yeah. is that there's a little bit of anarchy in there, a little bit of cathartic anarchy. Right. Yeah. Right. I, and, I, and I, there's also something about it just sort of expands the uh, the number of colors inside your home. Right. You're like, I got to make right. something feel different inside. Right. Your home. Right. I, I, it, I guess the analogy is being a sailor at sea for months at a time. Like, 100%. that's why they just just totally stock the ship full full of rum or booze or whatever a hundred percent yeah so are you finding uh well i guess you've not you haven't had a drink for two years three years three years over three years yeah wow yeah yeah which, which is fine which is fine I, I, and i i always tell myself now and it wasn't an aa thing um i managed to find a way to have it make sense on my own but i always tell myself now like if you think about doing it again You've just tallied up the pros and cons wrong. Do it again. Right. right. You know, which is for me. I mean, you could see on the chart where when I stopped, my productivity just went through the, the roof. roof. I can right. do anything at any time of day. You know, when you stop drinking, you'll be on a treadmill at like one in the morning being like, this is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm with you 100%. Anyway. And I mean, um, you uh, remained remarkably fun. A lot of people quit drinking and I don't know, it's just not fun anymore. You have to be very careful when you excise that little tumor that you don't take out other tissue. <laughs> <laughs> That's highly important to your functionality. Yeah. You know, I, I, I don't hook up anymore, really. I realized that alcohol was the air bridge, as they say now, between two strangers. Yes. Yeah. I yeah. said um, when I quit, I quit drinking. I was sober for like three and a half years. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I did the whole AA thing, which was incredibly helpful in a lot of respects because I never, I never really dealt with emotions. I didn't like to talk about emotions. I didn't really think that that was a thing. And that's kind of like all they do is talk about emotions. Right. But I realized like I wasn't an alcoholic. I was just an asshole, incredibly selfish. And I just used right. alcohol right. For right. Me to be able to say, oh, that wasn't me. I was drunk. It was yeah, stuff yeah. that I wanted to do anyway. Yeah, I, I, I think I think everybody. I don't know how exciting this conversation is, so I'm sorry if I sent it in the wrong direction. But um, I think there's a lot of people who just need to know that it is, for many, 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 many people, a rite of passage to discover it, yep. use it, overuse it, and put it away. Yes, it's like I don't even I don't even think we have dug the trench correctly to explain that process all we have is um i don't drink i do drink or i'm now sober because i'm a recovering alcoholic and i think there are some shades in between, in between for that sure. go i didn't for a long time i did it helped me it was awesome and then it stopped being awesome and i didn't want to do it anymore yeah i mean for me like going to, yeah. going to aa i realized it was almost like me going and taking my like if i had a relative that was that had like cancer medication and I right. just, just kept like taking their cancer medication. It's like, oh, this is this works, but this is not. I don't. This isn't my. Medication. Didn't need it anymore. I yeah. graduate. I almost feel like I graduated from that university. Now sure. I was also an asshole in my life too, and that was a different recovery process. But they don't have an AA for assholes. Man, they totally should. I mean, it is a little like getting canceled is sort of like, you know, the problem with getting canceled is that nobody has written the kind of um i don't know the protocol for being uncanceled like sure. there's no recovery from can't like but i think if you're canceled you you that might be asshole rehab i don't know yeah forced asshole rehab for yeah you're you're getting thrown into rehab the problem is they just 
I don't know that anybody's written the curriculum for getting out of, of the spanking machine. Sure, sure. I don't know. 